Hi, I've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit from Monday over here in the Atlantic. Not a whole lot going on. Fairly quiet overall. There's a tropical wave approaching the Antilles Islands from the east over here with most of the convection removed from the axis. It's moving to an area of confluence aloft around this ridge as air comes out of the north and sinks, which means this is going to not look like a whole lot as it comes west over here. We'll probably bring showers right through the Caribbean, though development is not expected with this as the MJO is in a downward motion phase right now where this area of the world is not favorable for development and it's very hard to get June storms without the support of the MJO so we won't be expecting anything for the next week to week and a half or so but we are going to be watching later on this month during the last week of June I think we are going to be much more likely to get another tropical disturbance that could possibly develop and give us our first name storm this is the MJO forecast for the last 10 days of June here. You can see these blue colors upward motion showing up in the tropical Atlantic returning. This is the area, this is the time period where it makes sense that the MJO should return by this time. By the last week of June we should have upward motion back over the Atlantic and this is signaling to us the possibility for mischief to go on if there's something under there waiting to take advantage. If you look at the GFS long range, I've showed this a couple of times already, the GFS has been very consistent in developing a broad upper ridge over the southern Gulf of Mexico and western Caribbean by 10 to 15 days from now spread out. It's been moving forward in the timeline actually. We, this was showing up at day 15 four to five days ago and it has now moved down to where you're starting to see it out at day 10 and this is a sign that it's possibly something to watch for if the model remains consistent. I've been watching this upper pattern because if you get a ridge to balloon up like this, there's mean, it means there's a lot of heat invading the Caribbean and Central American region and if you get an outflow jet like this north to northeast over the Caribbean. You have to be watching to the west of it over here. This this pattern right here implies that there is something going on near the Yucatan Peninsula or the southern Gulf of Mexico here and this kind of an upper level setup can be extremely conducive for a system that's sitting in the right position beneath it. So this is generally indicating a lot of heat moving northward and pressures lowering at the surface, something to be watching for. Now if we look over here at the 500 millibar anomalies forecast for that time frame, notice these blue colors down here indicating below normal 500 millibar heights. And normally these are caused in the mid latitudes by cold air aloft which causes the height level to lower. But in the tropics here, what this is indicating to us, it's not being caused by cold air, but it's rather actually being caused by the release of heat. It's showing us that air is rising in here and heat is being released by clouds forming, releasing latent heat, warming the air and expanding the air column, which lowers air pressures at the surface in this area and lowers the 500 millibar height level, and that's where the blue colors are coming from. So this is generally indicating to us a release of heat in here and a lowering of pressures indicating surface convergence developing. And this ridging to the north here generally implies sinking air down here, which tends to ventilate this area of upward motion to the south of it and this kind of situation can get you some monsoonal type developments, invasion of moisture out from the Pacific trying to form something either in here or in here and perhaps getting tied up with the Yucatan at some point. This kind of a pattern can give you the typical early season development that you can get out of the monsoon trough and it's worth watching to see if this remains consistent on some of the models. The NACE is also trying to pick up on it a little bit. And we, if we look at what's under this at the precipitation ensemble mean, look what's sitting over here over the northwest Caribbean, a bomb of blue here indicating heavy precipitation on the ensemble mean propagating west-northwest with time, perhaps indicating an area of low pressure and convergence at the surface generating this by day 13 over here, obviously still quite a ways out, but it will be interesting to watch to see if this remains consistent on the ensemble means over here as we move forward in the timeline. And you know, sometimes I really do like to take this as far as I can and try to stir up long range mischief. I have one more item to support this. This is a tropical wave just getting ready to exit Africa. Fairly well defined tropical wave that's developed within the last three days. This is going to be bringing the ITZZ northward in a bulge as it moves west northwest all the way across the Atlantic. This will probably be in the Western Caribbean in 10 to 12 days, right when the MJO is coming back and right when the ensembles are showing this and this over here and the upper ridge. All this stacked up over here on the operationally ensemble mean. If we have a tropical wave moving into this at the same time that the monsoon trough is invading from the south, you could get a conglomeration of low pressure in here that will be worth watching. And obviously, you know, way out, tropical wave hasn't even left Africa yet, but this is going to be 
the timing's going to be there with this. Likely, tropical waves are fairly predictable in their timing and moving across in the trade winds. So this is going to be in that area, and it will be interesting to see what will come of this in the long range. Obviously still a long ways out, but I like to play with these things. We've got nothing much else to look for until then. Fairly quiet out there today, so we will continue to watch and wait for Arlene to show herself to us. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.